Hello, this is just a quick guide on how to set up VTech vSmile emulation in the MAME emulator. How uh, to do this, you're going to need three things. Obviously a copy of MAME. I recommend downloading and setting up the latest version just to make sure it supports every vSmile game you'd like to run. I'll leave a link to where you can download the latest MAME in the description. You'll need a copy of the ROM of the game you'd like to run. Uh, it should come in binary file format, so .bin. I'll be demonstrating with cars, rev it up in Radiator Springs. Um, and lastly, you'll need a copy of the vSmile BIOS. Um, I'll link to a guide in the description that has more information about how to acquire that. So anyway, once you have MAME downloaded, it should extract itself into a file with the executable, a whole bunch of other helper executables, and a whole bunch of folders. You're gonna, gonna wanna go into the ROMs folder and place your vSmile BIOS, which should be in the form vSmile.zip, needs to be named this, and inside, should have the v103.bin binary file for the actual BIOS. Next thing you're gonna, gonna wanna do is set up a folder called vSmile cart in the ROMs folder. And again, it must be named vSmile cart. And then what you're going to wanna do, this is where it's a little, little bit more of a pain than most emulators. So you're gonna wanna go to the arcade database, which is this address right here. And I'll leave a link to this uh, in the description as well. You're gonna wanna try to find the entry for the game that you would like to uh, emulate. So let me see if I can find the English version of Rev It Up in Radiator Springs. So these are, there are multiple versions of it. I have the original, so I just want this one. So enter that. Now, when you come in here, there's gonna want, there's two pieces of information you're gonna wanna know. You're gonna wanna know the ROM set, which is this acronym here. So in this case, it's a C-A-R-S, CARS. And you're going to wanna know the ROM file name, which is under the XML tab down here. You go here and it's this is the ROM file name. So what you're going to want to do is once again, go back into your ROMs folder here, make a new file, name it after the ROM set here. And it must be named that. So name, in this case, name it cars. And you can see the other games I have running for vSmile here. They, they're all named after the ROM set that they have for their respective games. So you go into cars. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is move your binary ROM file into this, the folder you just made. But, and the key thing here is you have to rename the entire ROM name here to the ROM name that's within the Arcane database here. So 092 whatever ever dot U1. And rename the entire thing, including the file extension of that. Windows will warn you about doing that, but you do want to do it. And this should be functional now. So what you're going to want to do is open up the main MAME executable, just MAME.exe. Um, it should open up here, hopefully. One second, here it comes. So here's MAME. Um, it will take you, oop. It'll take you to a screen like this. For some reason, MAME's not uh, <laughs> maximizing. So first thing you are going to do before you start the game is figure out your controls um, because it's not obvious with the vSmile. So go into configure options and uh, general inputs, player one controls. Now the vSmile has six buttons and one joystick. Obviously the joystick is um, controlled here by um, the the left stick, sorry, up, down, left, and right here. So these are up, down, left, right inputs. And then buttons one through six are what control the vSmile. Buttons one through four are the colored buttons on the face of the vSmile. So button one is the green button, button two is the yellow button, button three is the red button, and button four is the green button. Excuse me, button one is the yellow, button one is green, button two is yellow, button three is red, button four is blue. Button five is the OK button, which you can kind of think is the A button. It's what's used to advance through menus and jump and do basic interactions in games. And button six is the back button. So if you go backwards in menu, exit out of a game, that kind of thing. So those are the six buttons you'll need to bind in order to play the game and the left stick for movement. So once you have that bound, you can go back out into MAME. Uh, you're going to want to search for vSmile, which you should have listed here if you have the BIOS set up. If you don't see vSmile here, then you didn't set up the BIOS correctly. Once you go into vSmile, you're gonna to wanna to search for the game you just uh, you just installed and make sure, so choose the game you just installed. Oops, sorry. Uh, go into info here, make sure this right here will be the ROM set. Make sure this matches the ROM set of the game you just set up. So for instance, if I went to this one, which is a different version of it, you see it's Cars M. If I tried to open this, I'll get a warning that I don't have the ROM for it because it's a different ROM set than the one I set up. So if you ever see this warning, um, this indicates that something in your setup went wrong. So check that you have the ROM set and the file name right. And if there's multiple versions of the game, check that you have the right version of the game. So anyway, so make sure this matches. Double click. Choose V103 because that's the version of the BIOS you should have. Double click. 
And if all goes well, you should get this screen. Advance through it. And you should, with luck, get the Beast Smile game to open in an emulator window. Um, and if you set up the controls how we showed earlier, it should also, uh, should also be playable. So, yeah, I'll just advance to the menu here and interact with it some just to show you that it's working. And then, uh... Just repeat this process uh, for every VSMO game you want to play. Presents. Just um, Pixar film. Cars. Rev it up in Radiator Spring. Yeah. Learning. So uh, Learning. So I can control that. So uh, yeah. And once again, if you want to add more games, just add more entries to your VSMO cart folder here. So you see all of these have their uh, ROMs within them named to what they are in the database, and that's all you need to do. And it should hopefully work. Uh, feel free to reach out to me, um, either on Discord, which this will be posted, or YouTube comments or whatever else you have questions. And feel free to consult the guide that this is largely based off of in the description below as well, as that has some good information as well. So uh, thank you. Hope this helps. And uh, get out there and get V-smiling. There's, there's no excuse now.